YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, it's Nate today. I'm bringing a brand new video on the map Raid, and this one's gonna be a little different from most of my videos because when you watch me play, I'm usually using a SMG, MSMC, PDW, something like that, and rushing as much as I can. But in today's video, I'm in a Champions Master Division League play match. These are uh, we're playing against very good players, and I am using the assault rifle. My goal for this round and this side of the CTF game is to basically contain them in their spawn. So just get as many kills as I can, make sure they can't push up, and just to be sure that they don't push to our base. And that leaves all the room and time for my three teammates to push up and do as they please and get as many captures as they want. So I hope you guys enjoy this slower paced gameplay because this one, uh, like I said, is a little different from what I usually do. But what I want to talk to you guys about today is deciding what kind of player that you want to be because for me when i first started when in call of duty 4 the two main guns that were used were the m16 and the mp5 but now as you progress in modern warfare 2 it was the acr and the ump 45 black ops 1 it was basically just a famas at the beginning of the game when people had the ak-74u uh that was a very good gun but then it got patched and then literally the famas ran the entire world uh, then you have Modern Warfare 3 where you have the PP90 or the MP7 or basically the ACR. And then with this game you have the A94, the FAL, the M8. You also have the PDW, the MSMC. So a lot of gun versatility in this game. And a lot of people ask me what kind of role they should be playing or what they should be doing or where they should be playing in the game. And for me, when I decided that I was going to be an SMG player, I just looked at the facts. To be honest with you, my assault rifle shot is not the greatest. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. Like, I'll miss some shots. I think that's with everybody though uh, everybody's gonna miss a shot or two but I just feel more comfortable uh, in the short range the medium range game with the SMG because that's the kind of player I like to be I like to be in their face rushing as quickly as possible pushing pushing the issue playing the objective and getting the win for my team but when you have a player like big timer or Merc or Scump, all three of those players can use an SMG or an assault rifle and be very effective. And that's why I'm such a big fan of my team because it, it, we just can all play whatever role we need to play at any given time and do well. And then if you look at other pro teams, MVS is a very, very, very good example. You have two guys, JCap and Proofy, who are extraordinary slayers. They are both rock out those ARs, those M8s, and literally almost unstoppable. Uh, you, you go uh, to other pro teams, Complexity, you have Too Quick and Aches who run the Assault Rifles. Then you have Criminal and Aches who, or I'm sorry, Criminal and TP who run the SMGs. And it, if you just go look at every single team, every single squad has those two or one Assault Rifle players. And then they'll have three or two SMGs that are pushing the issue and playing the objective. And, and that's what you really need to figure out, what kind of player that you want to be if you want to be successful in Call of Duty. A competitive Call of Duty, that is, because when you're playing a public match, you can really do whatever you want. You can run uh, LMG and a SAR rifle, a sniper, an SMG. Really, any of those guns would work. But like I said, for competitive, there needs to be those roles so that everybody has an idea of what they're doing. Because capture the flag, it's so crucial that you have those two players that are holding map control, making sure the other team doesn't push past, while you have two or three players rushing up with SMGs, trying to get pull, pulls and control the spawn. And then when you have hardpoint, it's like a whole new world because you need somebody that's anchoring the spawns that's using the saw rifle for maps like slums raid yemen and uh what's the other one that i'm missing here standoff where the anchor will push in the back of the spawn and hold the spawns so that those three smg players can push up and get uh, a lot of kills and and to be honest with you like if you're not familiar with competitive call of duty you might not understand what i'm trying to talk about but that's why i'm doing this commentary so that you as a player if you're trying to get into competitive can really take the time and decide what role you want to play uh like i said if you want to be that guy that's rushing up and, and taking the game into his own hands, then use an SMG if that's what you feel comfortable with. And then uh, if you are the guy that likes to really, you know, kind of stay back, hold hold the tempo of the game, uh, hold map control for his team, then you want to use an assault rifle. So just take some time, you know, really decide what, what suits you best and then uh, go from there. I just picked up a nice three piece there. That worked out pretty well. Uh, and then search and destroy a whole nother game type that's you know a whole different ball game I, in competitive there's hard point capture the flag and s and d so capture the flag and hard point are only two game types you need to really worry about with those roles 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Uh, I hope it gave you a little bit more in-depth look of what the, com the com composition of pro teams are and uh, what roles need to be done on a team. Uh, please leave a like. Uh, I really, really appreciate it if you guys could leave a rating. Let's try and hit 2,500 likes today. Thank you guys so much. If you check out the scoreboard, I went 19-4. and four. Uh, Did pretty well with the Assault Rifle, even though it's not what I usually use. But either way, thank you guys and YouTube. We'll see you fudging later.